Welcome to Beers with Brian. And I'm Brian. Hey, how you doing? It feels good to like get out and not wear a mask and just live life again. And I'm like super stoked about like the newness of that. There's like so many cool new things out there, new technologies like there's electric cars. We got a charging station here at the brewery if you want to uh, plug your car in, if you got an electric car. I've been trying one of these new electric bikes and they are so fun. They they kind of give you like a little bit of ride assistance. So it's it's sort of a cross between a bicycle and a moped and they are like super fun to play with. There's also like new beers out there. Milkshake IPAs are pretty popular. And of course everybody's heard of the seltzers that have arisen in the last uh, year or two. We got some of those coming for you as well. We're gonna do a banana milkshake IPA. I think it's gonna be pretty good. It's gonna be interesting, that's for sure. And the mango seltzer is almost done. So get ready for what's next. I think we're doing a peach seltzer. So if you like peach and you like seltzers, you're gonna to have to come check out the peach seltzer when it comes on tap here at BBCO. Coming up soon. Um, and new merch. A couple episodes ago, I showed you some of our prototypes. We've got some of those. They'll be on hand starting tonight. Those will be here, probably up here at some point too, on in our merch section uh, in the big dining room. So come on down and check those out. Also new, we got our variants approved for the permanent beer garden. That means we're gonna be building a big steel beer garden out in the back with cover so you can be out there when it's raining. It'll have heaters for the winter. We're gonna have some fans for the summer. It's gonna take care of all your needs about nine months out of the year. So that'll be great. You can sit outside. Uh, also new, 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 new. New this week, we got specials, food specials. Uh, today and tomorrow for lunch, we're gonna be featuring beer braised brats with a reduced stout mustard, some sauerkraut, some Swiss fondue kind of topping. It's gonna to be yum yum. We're gonna have a tonight special. We're gonna be doing a 10 ounce New York strip. Finally got a steak in this place. So if you wanna try a steak at BB Co that Chef Jason's whipped up, this will be the night. We're gonna put a little Bernays sauce on it. So it'll be also very delicious. And our flatbread for Flatbread Friday is gonna be Thai chicken a little lemongrass aioli, a little peanut sauce, a little bit of this, a little red pepper, a little bit of onion. So it's gonna be uh, also, also very delicious. Everything is really delicious that our kitchen's putting out right now. So come down and check out Craft Eats. My weekly beer recommendation is, whoop, Seven Shooter Vienna Lager. Oh my gosh. This is, one of my top five beers. Seven Shooter is a malty, it's got sort of like a bread crust, toasty, toffee kind of flavors to it. Very similar to a Märzen. Um, back in the 1840s, the Vienna Lager and the Märzen were also new. They were developed by two buddies who were brewers, one in uh, Vienna, one in uh, Germany. Uh, very similar styles, malty. Um, the Märzen is a little bit sweeter the Vienna Lager is a bit drier and hoppier, so a little bit of difference between them. These are now, they've kind of fallen out of favor in general. They've been brought back by craft brewers, but you know where these have been really popular over the last couple decades? Mexico. Yeah, that's right. Mexico. Some good ones down there, so check those out. Hmm. Yeah, seven shooter. That's a good one. All right. Upcoming events. Uh, that are back. We're going to be having Beard Hymns this Sunday, June 27th, 7 p.m. Come down, get yourself a spot. We'll be here in the big brew house to try a new space, see how the acoustics work out. Mike Tetrault will be tickling the ivories. We'll be pulling out the hymnals again for real, since we know that you can't get COVID from a hymnal. That's not how it's spread, right? And then we'll have some more stuff in July, and we'll have a uh, July 4th weekend coming up. Get out there and play in the sun, in the water, shoot off some fireworks, scare your neighbors, scare your neighbor's dog, all those sorts of fun things to do. So anyways, that's all. Like, subscribe, comment if you'd like. Cheers. <laughs>